Hi, and welcome to my Pro Tools blog. So today I'm actually going to update and install to Pro Tools 9, going from Pro Tools version 7.4, and I'm going to do that on my laptop. I want to stop having Pro Tools HD on my studio rig and then Pro Tools LE on my mobile rig. I want to be able to have Pro Tools HD with me everywhere. So uh, I'm going to do that on the laptop today. To do that, you need um, an iLock key. Um, you need this so that you can download your iLock permission for Pro Tools 9 so it'll run. Um, secondly, you need the installer file. Finally, you need a computer, as we have behind here. So um, I'm going to be installing that today and uh, just let's see how straightforward it is. Okay. So to install Pro Tools 9, uh, you need to find the installer file. You double click the file and when this happens, it launches itself onto the desktop and we see the files inside. So what we're focusing on is the install Pro Tools file and the uninstall Pro Tools file. What you need to do before going any further is click the uninstall file. You shouldn't have the old version of Pro Tools still on the computer while we're doing this install. So you can either do a safe uninstall or you can do a clean uninstall. Um, you just have to make sure you're backed up basically because you know this clean uninstall will truly get down to the base level and remove all the files. Um, I've done it that way because I just wanted um, a clean install on this computer of Pro Tools basically. So um, in, if you're not comfortable with that level of uninstall just go with safe uninstall. So the next part of the process is actually to install Pro Tools. So continue so it's actually you know telling us here what we were just talking about basically uninstall if needs be um, I agree and continue so I'm just going to go for the Pro Tools clean install and it's saying it needs 5.55 gig which is fine we go continue um, I want the location is going to be fine um, time for the magic password uh, when we finish we must restart, that's fine, so let's continue. And of course it asks me to close absolutely everything. So, save and quit. Now, seeing as we've had to um, basically close everything while this is installing, uh, I figured I'd take us back to the desktop. Just uh, patiently wait out the writing files. Uh, we're going to fast forward through that here, though. Okay, so now that the install is complete, uh, we're obviously going to move over and click restart. And off it goes. Welcome back. So now that we have um, Pro Tools installed and the laptop rebooted, I'm actually going to iLock.com to um, download my updated iLock permission so that I can run Pro Tools 9. So as you can see, this is the basically we're waiting for iLock to load screen. <laughs> and now we're into an iLock account. And this is, if you haven't seen them already, this is pretty much what it looks like and um, it's telling you here which iLock I have plugged in. Um, so I'm going to go download licenses because this is waiting for me here somewhere. Yeah, actually I could have done it from right here. So this one is the one I'm pulling down and this is the iLock as we can see here that's plugged in. If you have more than one they'll appear there. So I want to take down the Pro Tools 9 permission to this. So download to iLock and off it goes. Now you shouldn't uh, pull out your iLock for very, very obvious reasons here. Um, if this transfer goes askew somehow or other, it can cause you all sorts of hell. So we do want to avoid that. So just leave the computer be while um, it's updating the iLock. And that should be that. So the selected items have been downloaded. Let's see if it actually has. 
go back to the desktop and let's try and open Pro Tools. And here we are. Pro Tools HD9. Da -da -da. Um, okay, so here's my list of plugins that it can't do. That's okay because I have a I have only one eye lock in at the moment, but the point is the DAE is now set up. Pro Tools launches. Okay. So we are in business. Pro Tools is installed. Thank you.